Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Inja Art. My name is Gretchel, and today we're gonna to make cute little Christmas bubbles. A lot of you ask me how I make my Christmas bubbles, so I'm gonna be making them with you. These are still wet in the middle, so I'll be putting them right back. But this is what I'll be making today. Hope you enjoy. Well, let's just do this. The colors I'll be using today are going to be black, Amsterdam permanent dark green. Let me check. Wait a minute. Yes, permanent deep green. Deep green. And Amsterdam light gold. This is what I mix my paints with. I think it's the easiest way to mix. Don't forget to leave your paint sit for a few days after mixing because this definitely gives a lot of bubbles, a lot of air bubbles in your mix. Okay? Hope you can see my consistency again. It's pretty thick. Okay? So, black permanent dark green and light gold. My canvas and tools today are going to be, well, the Christmas bubble from China. I ordered these from China. They're wood. Make sure you don't get the, the, the wood that's going to warp. This is not going to work. This is very, you know. And my tools. Let me start by saying the same thing again. Level your work. Level it, people. Level it, level it. I have a tweezer again. If anything goes in, take it out. Not for the eyebrows, it's for the chunks in my paints. I'm using a, two cookie cutters today and I'm hoping I can show you the difference with the shapes. It's a heart and a star shape. Okay, well, first I'm going to cover them all in my black paint. As you can say, you can also call it putting down a base. I also make sure the sides are all black in one time, you know. Doesn't you don't want to go have to go back and forth and back and forth. I'm not really worried about the back because I'll be I'm gonna make them black when they're all finished so I'm not really worrying about my fingers in the back with these if you do wanna if you do mine or if you want something different you can always tape off the back fully and get it back off but it's not that easy every time
which one should I? I'm just going to start with the heart shaped one, okay? Let's do this one. Mm. I must say, I'm, I'm, I'm used to swiping it this way, so I'm not sure if it's gonna. <laughs> you know what? Sorry, guys. But I really do want to do it so I can see the design. I will turn them back for you to see the design, okay? I want to put down the gold first. I don't actually want the black and the green to contact each other. I think they're not going to make a beautiful color. So I'm going to put down a little bit of gold first. Make sure it gives the whole shape, you know, you get the whole shape covered inside. Just a few drops, but just enough to get the whole shape. You know. Okay. Green. Just a little bit. Don't forget the whole bubble is already covered in paint, so you don't need a lot of paint for this technique. It's an open cup, once again. So I first put on a little bit of gold, a little bit of green in it, and I'm going to top it off with just a drop of gold again. Okay. Well, let's go. What I do, and I just, yeah, how can I say? Just let the air, just like, leave some paint come out under it you know get some air in between and I just hold the bubble just leave it pour out a little bit first so I can see it and then I just go across and I take a little bit of that black with me because Okay, now it's wet. I'm still looking for design, so I'm gonna run it off on one side. Okay, make it run off on the other side. Take the weight of the paint back to the middle. go for the cells going for the cells I'm not a great cell lover in these swipes I do love cells but I don't love cells in all my paintings I really don't I think cells can even ruin your painting okay so but that's my opinion anyway that's one and I'm already liking it. See if you don't want to see if you have to clean off your cookie cutter or your cup or whatever. Next. Yay. Sorry again, guys, but I need to see what I'm doing. Cookie cutter on top. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. The gold. And then the green. Where are you? Just a tiny little bit. 
bit of that gold again, guys. Just to give it. Or else the whole top is going to be all green and you don't want that. So. I need to hold the Christmas bubble again. Just leave some air come out of the cookie cutter on the, on the bottom. Then you just swipe it across. And sometimes you don't want to swipe it all the way. Oh. I'm turning it back around for you to see the difference. The diff pattern okay. and I don't want them to be the same you know you, you want some fun in it you want a little difference look at those cells people Oh, I'm loving this one. Okay, well, I'm going to show you the star one, okay? Maybe I can show you in it. I'm going to show you. Try and show you. Okay, same thing. Gold, but I want the star, the star, the shape of the star. So I'm gonna make sure you put it in a little bit in the corners, you know, so it gets like a star shape. Go, green. And back to the gold. Make some, let some air come from under, just enough not to. A little more center. As you can see, I just put some green on. That's okay. Look for the black. Tip it. Leave it. Okay. Tip it. Now. And leave it. <laughs> this is the same green color, but green is always dries dark. Mm. I'm gonna 
try this one one more time to show you. I'm not even sure I am going to show you. If I'm going to be able to show you. But let's do this. Mm. Green. Just a tiny bit of gold again. Oh no. Release the paint, get some air in between. Now I'm seeing one of my puppy's hairs. Release the paint and swipe it across. Sure, I'm gonna love it. Okay. Oh, okay. Just across so it goes runs right up just Okay, I'm not really, I'm not really seeing what I want to show you. But I figured something just went in there. The difference. This gives a more straight across flowy and this it gives a little more like corners. Okay, one more. Oh. Same thing. Gold. Green. Gold again. my torch
Okay. Same thing. Release the paint.
I hope you like my video today. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again next week. Bye.